Okay, so it's uh, May 28, 2020. I'm second batch of potatoes. This one here, people, cost me $12. Okay. This one over here, which is six jars, cost me $4.28. Do you see the difference in terms of on sale? Now, I know what this is on the bottom. This is not uh, oxidization. This is Himalayan, Himalaya uh, pink sea salt. That's what that is, people. I figured it out. Now... This jar here has it at the bottom. Do you see how nice and clear this is? This one, I put the salt on top. Then I poured the water in. And do you see how close, cloudy it is compared to, compared to this one? You can see there's a difference, right? But I would suspect that the salt will end up settling to the bottom at some point anyway. You see, you can see it's already starting. But you can see how cl cloudy versus... How clear it is here, right? Here it's clear. Here it's cloudy. That's because I put the salt and then the water. Here I put the salt at the bottom. Either or, you're going to get it accumulating if you're using that particular salt. Hold okay, on. so after I'm done these potatoes, that's it. I'm outside. I'm outside for the next month. I'll put all the canning stuff basically away. And I'm not going to can anything for probably a month, people. Um... If you notice here, here's those two salts, right? Remember I was telling you, you kind of need this, unless, of course, you're taking iodine drops, right, which I don't normally do. I have iodine drops, but either or, this is just, you know, mix the two together, but when you're canning, don't use this, okay? Keep, keep it separate. So this one here, I'm going to put just in another container by itself so that we know it's just nothing but that salt for home canning but for table salt and when you're cooking with your potatoes and you know you're putting it in soups and and whatever you can do that you can mix the two up and then you get the different trace elements in it right so that's what I'm gonna do so the, I would recommend that if you're not taking iodine drops and you're relying solely on the pink salt or the other sea salt that has more minerals than say this salt <laughs> then just combine the two together right and this way you get a little bit of everything but when you're canning use the right kind of salt that's all I'm trying to say so See how easy that is? So this one here goes into my salt shakers and stuff. And when I make soups and whatever. Andre's been asking for blueberry jam. Now I have a couple downstairs. But I got these on sale. Okay, I'm going to have a blueberry sandwich right now. I got these on sale. I don't know for why you're grabbing. Don't grab. Okay. They were $2.50 each. That's not bad. No, but I saved myself 98 cents. <laughs> okay. So for, what is I pay? $7? I paid $7 for that, people. That's too much money. Okay, that's the equivalent of that. 250 mils, which isn't very much. When I make my jam, I use 500 mils. One pint. Right? which technically is supposed to be twice as much than that. But when you can find it, obviously buy it, put it away, or eat it, whichever you prefer. I'll let Andre eat one, and Amari, and I'll put this one away. I just bought it because, and I'll pull out another jar of blueberries, and then this year I do want to do something more with blueberries, but I'm going to have to buy blueberries from the farms in the box and then I picked up this only because it's a jar it's glass you can see it was on sale right I ran in to get potatoes people <laughs> so uh, where are we see those potatoes look at that for two of them that was too much money that other one must have been a 10 pound bag 30% off got it for $4.30 
and I got six jars out of it. Where this one, two five pound bags for $12, and I got seven jars out of it. Right? And then the uh, butter is getting more and more and more expensive, people. So buy your butters and freeze them if you can. Right? And then the peanut butter was a dollar fifty off, so I just picked up two. I have a few of those around, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the date on these, right? I'm going to put the date on these so I don't open these ones first, right? Although I don't know where I put the other ones because I move things around sometimes, right? <laughs> Hold on. Wait. So they're done. Six jars for my box. You can see those ones have already been done. These ones are cooking. Okay. And then... I'll have an extra jar with my extra stuff. Oh yeah, this is, what is it called? Cinnamon sticks. So little things like that you can purchase along the way, people, you know, right? Makes a difference, adds up, right? It's fresh. Just put the date on it, you know, but this will last a long, long, long time, especially if it's in the dark. Now, I just keep these ones covered, right? Obviously, things in the dark last longer, so... Those are ready to go in the box, but before I pack the box, I wanted to do this first, right? So let these cool tomorrow, wash the jars, label them, they go in the box, and then my son, who's much more stronger than me, can carry it downstairs, and then I'll end up putting it away next week. Now what's happening is, now that I'm done the canning, for the most part, we know we still have one or two more turkeys to do, right? One for sure, probably two, because I want several boxes of blueberries so I, I still need to kind of clear out that freezer but anyway I'm not going to worry about any canning now for at least a month because in about a month from now the raspberries will as soon as the raspberries start coming right then I'm going to do those little apple things like I did with the pineapple for Amari I'm going to make apple raspberry Apple blueberry, apple strawberry. So between now and the next, pop, right? Between now and the next four weeks, I will be in the market shopping for jars, whether I buy them new or used. It doesn't matter. I'm going to need at least probably another six more boxes of these just to be satisfied with the things that I plan on doing. And this would be specifically for Amari, Hello, me, or Andre, right? You know, Amari's not going to sit there and eat the whole thing in one sitting, right? But, you know, this is a good size to, to can for this purpose. And then, we know I want to do beans. So depending on, i got to plant today a little bit. But I'm going to show you what I'm going to do first. But I, this year I kind of want to can beans, a few more jars. I didn't buy, I bought like uh, two cases of peas. I bought one case of cream corn or something like that. Obviously you've seen me can corn. You know I want to do can corn again with quart sized jars. The next time I come across sweet corn like that that's on sale, definitely going to do that. Um... You know, depending on how the cucumbers come in, obviously we'll do pickles, right? And then, depending on how the tomatoes come in, it would be nice to be able to do some tomatoes. But outside of that, that's pretty much all I'm going to be doing for canning, except for maybe I might, you know, spend three, four hundred dollars for beef, grind it up, chop it up, and I'll can it that way. But right now, canning is off the agenda for at least a month because now it's yard 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 pretty much that's what I'm going to be doing I'll show you what I'm going to, where I'm going to start okay, today Hold so on. the grass needs to be cut back here but I'm getting up in this corner Andre's going to start painting because for a couple of days it was raining it was very damp so I just let yeah we can't paint in the damp okay I'm talking no we can't so I, I let it dry yesterday you know I can now and now it's hot so the paint has had a really good time to set and it's warm so Andre's going to start painting as I clear out that whole corner 
I gotta get up into this little thing and start loosening up some of these, like this tree here, this one coming up right there. It's, I can tell it's already gotten into the ground because once they get into the ground, boy oh boy. But then look at these ones. These ones are in planter pots. Look how nice that is, people. That's so nice right up in there. And there's one right there, right? So those ones did okay. So anyway, I'm, I'm in this corner clearing everything out this way. Andre's gonna start painting and then I'm gonna finish painting tomorrow bring out clear out in here that's just buckets for dirt there's dirt in there you know I still got things I have to seedlings I got walnuts <laughs> still go in the ground so clear out all this get it ready to mow so between tomorrow I'll be bringing out the skill saw and mowing right so that's my job get everything ready pulled out right up in here you can see where am I I don't know this camera's dark but do you see that right up in there I took everything out in there and I'm going to lay down some kind of brick or cement slabs, something, right? I'll show you later. Okay, people, so I'm going to paint today. Painting. Now it's just over there taking down weeds. Getting ready to work on these compost, I mean these garden beds. Yep. Yeah. Falling apart. Yep. So today I'm just going to paint and then I'll uh, help Nana. She's going to take out trees. She's getting too big. Some of them are. The warrior tree? The warrior? Warrior. Warrior? Yeah. Tree? It got too big now. Well, we're leaving it. That one. This one. This one's coming out. These, these ones here. What about the warrior tree? tree? No, I'm going to leave that one there for a while. Just let it grow. It's in a planter pot. Yeah, but it's in the ground. So today I'm just gonna wake up, paint, and that's all. Oh my god! And uh, what are you doing now? Well, I have to fix this. Fix this. You see? I have to build this up again. Oh, the fence. No, well, I have to fix the fence. I can fix the fence for you today. No, 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 because I'm going to run chicken wire on. I have to get my staple gun. we got to get plants in the ground. So we have to uh, get our garden bed boxes cleared out, but we're doing this corner here. Okay, so what have you done? Are you painting? We don't want this to... Yeah. And then paint this gate. Well, I can't barely see. Well, just, you know what? Wait, because some of it has yeah, to be I washed. Just see, Andre. I think some of it's going to have to be scrubbed. I think we'll have to scrub, or at least take a brush to it. Just this part. Is that running? Yeah, it's on. Okay, well, don't leave it running too long. Okay, so and then we're just gonna like a. I'm just gonna paint stuff. Till I get exhausted. We're gonna be out here till night time. And then I'll have to go to bed. Early. Early up in the morning. We're going out early in the morning, right? The next few days, yep. You got all month to work on it, then it's not canning now. Okay, don't whatever you do, don't knock that paint. I have no money. I don't know. Doing this side here. Let me see. Where's the paintbrush? Right here. Can I have one? No. no. The big one. Yeah. Let me try. Okay. Turn off the camera and we'll come back. Kay. It takes too long to upload, right? Hey, people. Who's the boss? Sky. Stop it! I gave that cat, that cat food to Matilda. Sky! She's putting the raccoon in check. It's not like she needs cat food. Animals are so funny, man. Hey! Stop it! Sky! Sky! Go somewhere else!
Get out of here, you stupid cat. Shoo! If she were away, then she comes back. It's a battle over the food. Sky! Smarten up! Little bitch! You eat all the time! Mickey's like that with a dog. If we had a dog, Mickey goes literally on the dog's mat and will lay on the dog's mat and not let the dog on its own mat. And then the dog lays on the floor with no mat. Well, this is the same kind of situation, right? But I don't want them fighting. No fighting! Behave yourself! Yeah, you got just too funny, man. I'll be outside for a month now. I'm digging up trees. Yeah. See, I just did this one. I don't know. They don't like it like this. So tomorrow, I gotta look around because they're rooting into the ground, right? Andre and I were gonna put some up for sale. See what happens. Yeah. They're, they're, they're sprouting out. These ones, I dug them out, moved them, and put them in bigger pots last year. So I'm going to cut the grass in here now. You can see everything's starting to seed, right? Because I've been canning, eh? And, and as I'm digging out these trees, you know, I'm going to have to rebuild my garden beds. Because they've been here, some of them, for ten years, right? So I've got, that's what all this wood is for. that space and we were painting today yeah, it is too funny just too too funny yeah much much too funny oh there's the kitten now you see if raccoons could just get along with chickens life would be grand Dogs don't necessarily like raccoons. No. They see them as a competitor. Alright. You'd have to have a puppy and teach it young not to uh, go after raccoons. Cats, they just sit and stalk. Right, Sky? She's just sitting there, right? You can see her. She's just sitting there watching. She was eating first. Well, the raccoon was, but I walked away and then she went in there and scared the raccoon. And the raccoon was, you've seen that, just getting a little too close. So I don't need a raccoon cat fight. Okay, people. So do you see this? <laughs> Matilda is just right there. She's just drinking some water. I gave her two bowls of water. A dog bowl and a burger bowl. She's been a really good girl today. Yeah, not even biting no one. She doesn't bite, Andre. I know. Good thing she, no rock. It's good thing she doesn't bite. Yeah, her and Sky were eating cat food together. Really? Yeah. You're crazy. Today? Yeah. Oh my god. That's craziness. Craziness to Sky. And, like, Sky never does this. Oh, and there's Will Black Willie. And now I guess just keep an eye on Willie. Huh? Mickey. Yeah. No. I guess Sky doesn't want to keep an eye on Willie no more right now. <laughs> Willie. Willie, there goes Willie. Willie the gun the cat. Willie, yeah. Hey. Then there's Mickey. Mickey. <coughs> oh, she's not in my. Well, it's just being a little ham, little ham. No, do not even think about what tried.
attack Matilda. I want to get a little bit. Okay, hey Matilda. Hey, girl. Easy. Can I go through? You know, up, up. She's just eating leftover cat food. <laughs> Mickey! Wait, wait. You two are friends now? There is Mickey. Mickey. What a ham you are, Mickey. See her? She's just being a little ham. What a ham. You're a ham, Mickey. You're a ham. Okay, well. And that's it. Oh, yeah, let's go see what Nat's doing. I want to do a bait on. was doing a bait on Matilda. Huh? Doing a bait on Matilda. I'm just switching these over so we can paint the other side and I can do in between those things and then it's done. I'm just recycling the tape. Oh, because, uh,. Because you don't want to put new tape on it, right? Well, not unless I have to, for what it's worth. See how nice that is? Right. Huh? Now yeah, something happened. What? Uh, I don't know. We'll close it and turn it off. Try it again. Oh, it's this. It went all the way to the end. Just finishing the video. No. Oh. This is Matilda from last year. She's way too tame. You just way too tame. You're like a little dog. You just like a little dog, Matilda. Matilda. What are you doing? <coughs> I tried to give her corn, but Look what Andre did for you. He gave you water. Yeah, he gave you water. Andre gave you fresh water. Good girl. Matilda. Matilda. Good girl. She's just hiding out. Matilda just hiding out. Hmm. Where are you? Hmm. He's hiding out. Okay, so, oops. Today is what? May 29th, 2020. I'm going to put this first, and then I'm going to go do something now with the camera. I'm going to talk about the provincial government of British Columbia, Canada, going on about how 117 people have died in the month of April, uh, directly related to illicit drugs, a.k.a. fentanyl overdose, as well as 114 for the month of May. So so they're on schedule, people. Like, that's like 200 and, and what is it at? 20, 21, 221, 31, 231 people um, that have, have had their body, organs pillaged. I mean, seriously, man. Of course, they're not talking about that. But I'm going to talk about that, people. I'm going to talk about that. But before I do that, I prefer putting the salt at the bottom of the jar because what I'm finding is it's settling at the bottom of the jar. Now, unless, of course, you use a kosher salt that's all white, you're not going to have this problem where you're going to see the pink salt, right? When you put it on top, it, it goes down into the jar and I'm noticing that, you know, the color of the potatoes are just not as bright and white as these ones. Not that it makes much difference, because at the end of the day, it all goes into one pot, right? But I just wanted to point that out. So hold on a minute. 